Hello and welcome to Mr. Walton's Physics Lessons. In today's lesson we'll be looking at contact and non-contact forces. This is from the forces topic of GCSE Combined Science and Triple Physics. By the end of the lesson you should be able to state the meaning of contact and non-contact forces, and describe examples of each. Contact forces are those that act only when objects are physically touching. Friction acts when objects move over each other. In this example, when a car moves along a road, the surfaces of the tires and road are in contact and so they experience frictional forces. When objects, like this beach ball, move through the air, they experience air resistance. This is because the air particles move over the surface of the ball as it moves. Air resistance, like friction, acts in the opposite direction to the motion of the object. The next contact force you need to know about is tension. Objects experience tension forces when they are pulled or stretched. In this diagram, the weight of the plant pot acts downwards, and the hook provides an upward force. This causes the string to feel a force of tension. When objects rest on a surface, they experience a normal contact force or reaction force. In this example, the weight of the book acts downwards and the table provides an upward force, called the normal contact force, to balance out the weight. We'll now look at the non-contact forces. These are forces acting between objects that are not physically touching. The first non-contact force we need to know about is gravity, or the gravitational force. When objects with mass are in a gravitational field, they experience a gravitational force. In this example, the satellite is held in orbit around Earth by the gravitational forces between the Earth and the satellite. Electrostatic forces are non-contact forces experienced by charged particles in an electrostatic field. If a positive charge is brought near to a negative charge, they will attract each other. If two negative or two positive charges are brought close together, they will repel each other. Another very familiar non-contact force is magnetism. When magnetic materials, iron, cobalt, nickel and iron, are in a magnetic field they experience a magnetic force. If the south pole of a magnet is brought near to a north pole, they will attract each other. If two south poles, or two north poles, are brought near to each other, they will repel. So, you should now be able to state the meaning of contact and non-contact forces, and describe examples of each. Thank you for watching, see you next time.